What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion Presets tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the reflection setting inside of Lumion, um, specifically having to do with the photo mode and the images you can export. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the reflection planes inside of photo mode inside of Lumion. So this is a model, I think I, think I use this model as an example. Um, as an example model back when we were looking at live sync but uh, we're going to use this same model again and this is a 3d warehouse model from sketchup that i've exported to lumion what i wanted to do is i wanted to use that to talk a little bit about the reflections in here and i will link to this model in the notes down below um, but uh, one of the things that's going to be really important when you're creating a rendering is you're going to want accurate reflections and so what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're inside of our build mode now we're going to go over and we're going to click on the button for photo to go into photo mode and the reason for that is because we specifically want to talk about the reflection plane settings inside your settings in Lumion and so if you take a look at this right now um, reflect reflection planes are something that you can add in the photo effects so by clicking on the light and shadow option and then clicking on reflection that's going to add that to your list of effects that are being applied to your image so in this case we have reflection in here and uh, if we take a look at this right now you can see how this gives you a button for edit reflection plane and so at the moment if we click on edit reflection plane you can see how there's a box down here there are no reflection planes shown in here meaning we don't have any loaded yet so what we want to do is we want to add those in and so what reflection planes do is they simulate accurate reflections um, so they really make your reflections in here a lot more realistic but the trade-off for this and we're gonna go back and probably just do a rendering without one the trade-off for this is it's going to to affect your computer performance. So this is one of those things that you don't do on every single glass plane because you don't really need it to, right? Like if you have a glass piece way over here, you maybe don't need it throwing off mirror super accurate reflections um, because you're not really gonna get a lot of benefit on that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to add these planes in here really quickly. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some reflection planes. But first of all, let's go ahead and turn our preview quality to low. You can see how when I turn my preview quality to high, I'm getting more reflections in my preview that I don't necessarily need, though we may take a look at those in a second. And before we add a reflection plane, what I wanna do is I just wanna go ahead and render an image um, just with the settings as they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the render button. I'm gonna add this and uh, we'll just call this, in this case, I've already done a couple test renders. We're just gonna call this test test three. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to render this and we're going to let this render and we're specifically going to pay attention to what the reflections look like inside this model. So you can see how the reflections still show up okay. Like you can see the trees reflecting off this glass and everything else, but it's kind of pixelated in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to add in a couple reflection planes. So to do that, you're just going to click on this button for edit. And then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna click the button for add plane. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna add this kind of like grid in here that you can use to add a plane on a face wherever you want it to be. So like for example, when I come in here and I click on this face, what we're telling Lumion is we're telling it to treat this window as if it has a reflection plane applied to it. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna add a plane for this other window down here as well. And you can see how that works along this whole plane up to down, so I don't need to come Come down and click on this glass or anything like that so when we do that um, now we've got this in here we're just going to click on the button for or we're just going to click on the check mark and now what i want to do is i want to switch over just real quick to show you um, i'm going to click on the button for high preview quality well you can see how with the high preview quality i'm getting a much better reflection on this piece of glass than i was before now the trade-off to that and you guys may be able to hear it is my computer is really heating up in the background simulating these because it's spending a lot more um, energy calculating these more accurate images in here. Uh, one thing I do want to know is it's pretty much a good idea to turn on the speed ray reflections. So the speed ray reflections is something that Lumion developed in order to make this uh, make these reflections accurate without demanding as much on your computer. So um, it's a good idea to turn that on um, just to kind of have that running in the background. There's two slides 
sliders in here. There's a slider for flicker reduction and there's a slider for reflection threshold. So flicker reduction, you can see how this kind of adjusts the way that, um, or this kind of comes in here and tries to reduce any flickering that might occur on these faces. So you can see how you can kind of play around with that. You can see how that's um, affecting your rendering. But then the reflection threshold, what that's gonna do is if you click and drag this out, you can see if I drag this to a certain point, you can see how this kind of jumps and when it jumps, what that means is because I've set the reflection threshold, it means that it's checking any faces that are a certain distance off of this reflection plane that we added. So if I drag it to a certain point, right, like 14 centimeters or something like that, all of a sudden it's now calculating reflections on this stone that it wasn't before because my threshold was set lower. So, and you just kind of need to be careful with that. In this case, I don't really need those reflections to be coming off of this wall because it's not glass, so it doesn't really need to be reflecting very much. So you can kind of mess around with that to get the settings that you like. But what I want to do now is now that we've added our reflection planes in here, I just want to come in here and I want to re-render this. So when we re-render this, we're going to compare this to our test three render that we created. So I'm going to do a test two, or I'm going to call this one test four, and I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And this is going to go through and this is going to re-render this. And the first thing you're going to notice is you're getting a much more re um, realistic reflection off of this plain. So because of that, it makes your overall rendering look more realistic. So you can see how you're just getting a better result in here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to leave this open because it's a good preview of what this looks like. And I'm also going to pop up this other image. And we're going to see if this works. I always have trouble um, demonstrating side by sides of images like this. So probably what I'll do is I'll just drag this over here. And I just want to look at the actual reflections in here. So you can see how it's very subtle, but if you look at this, this one is actually reflecting the grass that's in front of my building, and it's actually reflecting the real trees, as well as the mountains in the background. While this one, it's doing some reflecting, but you can see how the reflection that's on there just isn't quite as realistic. And so again, it's kind of a subtle change, but it's something that can really make the difference between your renderings looking really realistic and them just kind of looking okay. So reflection planes is just something that you're going to want to be aware of when you're creating your renderings inside of Lumion. So like I said, kind of a quick video today, but I wanted to go through this because I feel like this is really important and it can be that little extra edge that takes your renderings in Lumion to the next level. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Do you want to see more videos like this about the presets um, or the effects? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.